Gregory Industries is a family-owned business. We're five generations old. Our primary line of business is in highway construction products. We've got about 100 employees, hard workers, dedicated employees, uh, people that care about the company. Yeah, I've been with the company 19 years. I've never felt my job wasn't safe. Then all of a sudden we hear a, about the the bill on the Senate floor. Our competitor hired a lobbyist and, and put language in a, in a spending bill that would effectively eliminate our product from the marketplace. Corporations like that that have the resources to employ lobbyists in Washington and cozy up to politicians can get things done on their behalf that have no merit necessarily. Quite frankly, it shouldn't be done that way. If the bill passed, uh, the company would not be what it is today. It would be gone and the, the 125 jobs uh, would disappear. And Senator Portman stepped in and, and stopped that from happening. We were dead in the water if Senator Portman hadn't jumped in and helped us out. We didn't have the resources to go and change things. We're going to take up this fight and we're going to take it up because we want to ensure that the employees, over 100 employees at Gregory, have the ability to continue to have a good job. Here's a guy that understood what was going on and uh, cut through all the red tape, got to the heart of the matter, and uh, made the situation right. 100 employees might not mean much to people in Washington, D.C. It means a lot to that community. And it means a lot to those workers and their families. It was great to see. Uh, he, he saved us. And if it wasn't for him, we would not be here. But Senator Portman is the reason why we're standing here today. Rob Portman is on the side of the guy that working two jobs, long shifts, trying to make ends meet. Rob Portman is on our side. I'm going to stand up for Ohio jobs. When you see something wrong, you need to get on it right away. Fight hard. In this case, fight hard for Ohio workers. He's a guy that, that listens to the people, uh, that stands up for the employees of Ohio, and he tries to protect jobs in the state of Ohio. He's just a good guy.